Hey everyone, this is Wes. This is a quick tutorial on how to install WAMP on your Windows machine. This is this will allow you to run WordPress locally on your computer rather than uploading it to a server uh, where you have to upload it every time you make a change. So go over to WAMPserver.com, click Downloads, scroll down and you'll see uh, Download WAMP Server 2.2 Oh, it's, sorry, I should also mention that you should be at wampserver.com forward slash en. Uh, so when you're on the downloads page, you'll see WAMP Server 2.2. Click this one, it'll download it for you. Uh, you want to go over to your downloads. To download it, yeah, I thought I had it. There we go. Um, so I have downloaded already in my downloads folder. Right click, run as administrator, click yes to all the pop ups. This will be real quick. Next, accept. See, WAMP is fine. Accept that. We want a desktop and a quick launch. Next, and click install. This will take about a minute or two, so I'm just going to pause the video a sec and we'll come back when it pops up. Okay, and we're back. Uh, the setup is finished and it's asking us for our default browser. Uh, it's saying Explorer, which is Internet Explorer. Um, that's no good, so we want to use something like Firefox or Chrome. So yeah, you want to go to C, Program Files, Mozilla Firefox, and click Firefox. Click Yes to any pop-ups. And the installation is just finishing up. Uh, you'll get this PHP mail parameters. We're not going to be sending any mail, so you just click next, leave it as is, and finish. As you can see in the bottom, we have now have our WAMP server. Uh, the icon should be green, not gray or yellow. Um, if it is, you can right click and click start, start all servers or restart all services. Um, and that will hopefully bring it to green for you. So now that we have our local server running, we can just go pop open PHP MyAdmin or pop open the dire directory. If we give it a second, it should open Firefox. And we now have something called localhost on our computer. So if you just go to a new window and type localhost, you'll see that we have a server running. Uh, we want to now create our own little space which we can build our website in. So head over to your explorer. Um, and you can really put this anywhere. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to put it right on the C drive. You know, right click. Oops, sorry guys. Here we go, sorry. New folder. And we're just going to call that WordPress. If you double click that, we'll have nothing in it. Uh, and now we need to create a new alias. So if you go to localhost and we type in WordPress, it's not going to show us anything. But we want that to be our URL for our new WordPress install. So just go to WAMP server and click Apache and then Apache directories and click add an alias now this might be a little scary but bear with me it's pretty easy uh, you just want to create the alias so we want to call that WordPress and then hit enter and then it's asking where is it located and if you remember we just did it at C WordPress so I'm just going to copy that back to this I guess we can't paste. See WordPress. So that's where it is. We're going to hit enter. Alias created, press exit, so hit enter again, and it's gone. Now, if we refresh that, you'll see it's still not found because we don't have any content in there. Well, let's say we start open Notepad. Type hello world. And we want to save that.
Again, you want to go to your C drive, WordPress, and then we'll just call this index.html. All files. Save. Now, if we refresh this, we should see. No, we don't. Let me just see a second. There we go. Sorry, you had to add the trailing slash. So if you go to WordPress, sorry, localhost forward slash WordPress, you'll see hello world. And that's just about it. This is where we're going to be creating our entire WordPress install. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.